Professor Rowan tends, tends to go on a bit. We sometimes have to remind him to finish the lesson. Some of us don't necessarily want him to get back to the lesson. So you are the new student. Have you met Professor Ronan? <coughs> Shall we begin? <laughs> Welcome to Year 5 of Chant. Now, this will be a crucial year in your education on the art of charm work. But I am confident that we will take hold with the passion and rigor requisite of such a challenge. Right now, everyone, please open your textbooks to page 517. But before we begin, can anyone here tell me the difference between the incantations of the color change and growth charms? Anyone? Anyone? Hmm? I am afraid it is too late to study now. Hmm. My, the summer months must have really taken a toll on you all. <laughs> By the looks of it, you spent your holidays practicing with little of mine. Do you even remember how to perform a basic summoning charm? Hmm? Hmm. Well, it seems that we are in dire need of review. Everyone get into pairs and take positions on opposite sides of the classroom. Now let's put those textbooks to use as the blunt objects you so believe they are and take turns summoning them out of one another's hands. Only one book will be needed per partnership, Miss Dale. Thank you. Get into place now. That is not bad. You are a swift learner. I see a lot of potential, but remember, potential is nothing without practice. Keep at it. You might just rival Miss Onai here. Oh, I see what Gryffindor she said. Stripping nigga. Slithering gang. Slithering gang. Slithering gang. Nah, we all slithering, bro. After me. 
I've always, I've always found, found that fun, fun goes, goes hand, hand in hand with mastery, with mastery as, I'm as I'm sure the Quidditch players amongst us would agree. Would agree. Mm? <laughs> so, so, what better than a bit of sport to put our prowess with the summoning charm to the test, right? <laughs> what do they got going on? <laughs> So why, so why don't we have our new students start, start, start us off? Hmm? Hmm? <laughs> Very simply, cast Agio on one, one of the spheres and relinquish your charm at the last possible moment. Now, uh, uh, think of this like gobstones, if you will. But instead of throwing the marbles out, you are summoning them toward you. Very good. Stay focused. Stay focused. Happens to the best of us. Oh, gotta stop it. Splendid. Oh. Very good. Very good. Points, Points to Slytherin. To Slytherin. But there's but certainly there's no sport in playing play without play some friendly competition. Miss well, go. would you care to give our new student a bit of a challenge? Come on up! You'll be doing moves just as before, and Miss Monai, you are playing red. Clear? Yes, sir. What's this? I see you rolling fifties, okay. a bit more interesting, shall we? <laughs> I think we are well past interesting at this point. I'll say. Hey, enough chatter. Focus now. You will need it. This round settles it all. What's this? Done. I know everyone is watching. Akio. You, you are doing quite well. That's it. Let us see this. Yeah, 
Give me that dog. Ha <laughs> ha! Yeah. 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 Take that dog. Very good, both of you. Well done. Hold that L, baby. Hold that L, baby! Class is dismissed. Gather your things on the way out. When Dental is here, I'm feeling lyrical and biblical, sitting up on my pedestal. Good game back there. I must admit, I think I underestimated you. Took me weeks to become proficient with Akio. Took weeks for me to get anything right when I transferred here. It gets easier, I promise. Thank you, but I've been holding my own. I appreciate your confidence. I transferred here from Wagadu just before my fourth year. My mother received an offer to teach divination here. Before I knew it, we had left Uganda and were halfway around the world at a new school in a new country. This may seem an odd question, but is magic the same there as it is here? Mm, mostly, yes. But I did have to learn how to use a wand when I arrived here. Hardly anyone at Wagadu uses one. You can cast spells without a wand. Oh, yes. I find wandless magic to be much more instinctive. Not to mention quite convenient if one is without their wand. I must admit, however, that I am growing quite fond of using a wand. It seems very dramatic. Is Wagadu a castle like Hogwarts? Its address is Mountains of the Moon. It is not so much a castle as a beautiful edifice carved out of the mountainside. I remember the first time I saw it, the was so thick I could hardly make out anything at all. And then it just materialized before me, this enormous school that seemed to be floating in mid-air. <laughs> is Wagadu much bigger than Hogwarts? <laughs> Wagadu School of Magic is the largest wizarding school in the world. So yes, bigger than Hogwarts. But it never seemed intimidating or overwhelming to me. It always feels like fun. Why are you upset for? You said seven. It's nice to learn about another wizarding school. Thank you for asking. I do miss Wagadu, but I am glad to be here at Hogwarts. Ah, I think Professor Ronan wants to talk to you. Better not keep him waiting. Until next time. Of course, you can use Akio on humans, if you're so inclined. Well, you'd be using it on clothing, to be precise, Sebastian. You know it won't work on humans. A word, if you would. You wanted to speak with me, Professor? I did. I trust your first charms lesson lived up to expectation? Well, an outdoor competition wasn't exactly the lesson I was expecting, sir. What charm is there in the expected? You did well, managing to best as gifted a student as Miss Onai. Thank you, Professor. I enjoyed the match. Miss Onai is always a fierce competitor, though I sense that she is a bit distracted of late. <clears throat> now, Professor Weasley has asked that your professors give you instruction outside of the ordinary curriculum. Expect to hear from me soon regarding a special assignment that I am preparing for you. I learned two spells, okay. Rebellion. Professor Ronan reminds me of my grandfather. Loads of wisdom, but a bit mad. After my brother learned the summoning charm, it was constant Akio this, Akio that. Cutlery flying everywhere. Quite unsafe, really. Yeah. 
You're the new You're student, the new aren't you? Hello. You wanted to speak to me? Samantha Dale. I've been eager to meet you. You're the student everyone's been whispering about. Hope your first day's going well. You certainly seem to hold your own in charms. Thank you, but it really wasn't all that challenging. My brother William would tell you not to be so humble and to trust your abilities. Then again, he tends to be a bit overconfident in his. Well, better see to my charms homework. I find oh, Professor you William you, you a bit more challenging than you do. Why are you upset for? You said seven months. Because of you, you got me. Revelio. You can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented flu powder. Ugly ass cat. Got rabies, bro. I can hit it with this. Oh. Love you. What about the room, Professor? I was thinking the same thing, Deke. Perhaps you could help. Oh, excuse, Deke. Ah, there you are. I trust your first classes went well? They did, Professor. I heard as much from Professors Hackett and Ronan. Seems Professor Fig taught you quite in subscribe. I'd wager there's a good deal more to your travels here than what you've told me. Isn't there? You know anybody that has used Godor Flight Club? I want some Kobe's. Nothing more, Professor. I see. Like trying to get a sonnet from a streeler. Regardless, you must continue to build upon what you've learned. 
In that regard, I've asked your professors to help hasten your progress with some extra assignments. You ordered from them. Professor Ronan did mention something about that. In fact, Professor Ronan will meet you outside momentarily to assign you a Why do you keep questioning me? Now, regarding the trip I don't know what you want from me, lady. We've arranged to replace the supplies lost on your way here, including seeds, potion recipes, and spell crafts. Thank you, Professor. And Mr. Ollivander will connect you with the perfect wand. You've managed your classes well with a borrowed wand. I ordered from Fly Club a few years ago. To be far superior. There's an Ollivanders in Hogsmeade. There is. Most people are familiar with the shop in Diagon Alley. We're fortunate. I keep hearing about Govab. Mr. Ollivander is a genuine craftsman and highly skilled wand maker. I would trust no one else to pair me with a wand. Godap is one of my sponsors. I've never heard of a spellcraft before, Professor. What is it? A spellcraft is a recipe of... Tell them I sent you. I shall explain. Face with tears of joy, face with tears of joy, face with tears of joy, sure. 20% off. Can you tell me more about the potions shop, Professor? Jay Pippin's potions stops You gotta put in the coupon code Go Fly. Although they really and you'll get 20% off purchase. Professor Sharp asked that they have a couple of particular recipes on $75 or more. Face with tears of joy, face with tears of joy. I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. Very well. I'd like you to make your first visit to the village with a classmate. Help you get your bearings. Perhaps I get to get my own wand. Okay, 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 okay. Cool game. Thumbs up, medium dark skin tone. Hey! I agree, Brittany Duck. It is a cool game. I'd like to go with Sebastian. Glad to hear it. Thanks Mr. for commenting. And thanks for your support. And he knows the area. He'll keep you well clear of You look kind of cute. Oh, look. Look like your DM. Rookwood. A rather unsavory. <laughs> Best to avoid him and his associates, including his right hand of sorts. Theophilus. Smiling face with heart, smiling face with hard eyes. Your friend will through the class of doors. No time to waste. The sooner you complete your work, the sooner you can enjoy a butter beer at the three broomsticks. I should have made my hair like red. I look kind of old like this. I need. He like a grandpa. He don't like no student, man. I, I should have. I should have made his hair color different. How you change your hair color? I don't know. Mm. Revelio. Go to YouTube. You too, Mr. Goat. Smiling face with sunglasses, smiling face with hard eyes, smiling face with hard eyes. Mr. Goat. <laughs> Go to YouTube. Ah, there you are. What's up, man? What you, what you trying to teach me, man? You have a new spell to teach me, Professor. Yeah, Indeed, I'm not going on YouTube. And an Thanks, Brittany. That, Thanks for your support. Fixes things You're the real right MVP. Makes a broken object good as new in the blink of an eye. Hmm. It seems as if that might come in handy. More frequently than one would imagine. 
As professor, there's a lot of dialogue in this game. I wanna, I wanna like uh, fight and do fun shit. There's a lot of dialogue. I feel like I'm watching a movie. But first, each shall ask that you complete a few preliminary tasks to hone your magic. I have arranged some. Like this type game, you gotta pay attention to because uh, you might miss some shit. We will have you casting Rotero in no time. Boy, I got a haircut. Boy, I'm looking better every day. Shit, it don't make no sense, boy. I'm gonna go get me some lottery tickets or something, boy. Somebody gotta see this shit. Shout out to uh, my boy Pete. <laughs> <laughs> Final Fantasy, yeah, that's Such a classic, man. Is invaluable when Gamer King and Streamer. I'll start on the task right away, Professor. Oh, oh, excuse me. They gave me assignments, okay. Uh, okay. This is the right area. I wonder where the flying page is. Rebellion. There it is. Get it, I get it. I get it down. Be around here somewhere. Rebellion. Where is it? Yeah. Yeah. Get my powers back. I trust the preliminary task. I completed the assignments, Professor. Marvelous. You clearly know your way around basic charms. Let us give the old mending charm a try then, shall we? Remember to be deliberate in your enunciation and movements. I want to see some vigor. Now, wand at the ready. Yes, sir. It is minus Remember, your wand is a conduit of your magic. Oh, shit. BRB. All right. Peril. Oh, that's dope. Now I can fix stuff like they be doing. Be okay. I'll be right here. That's it. Very good. Very good. Very good. If you would like to practice mending something, have a go with that broken statue in the alcove by the water. It allegedly symbolized heartbreak. Perhaps a jilted lover thought it too accurate and lashed out. Prepare. Nicely done. Works like a charm, doesn't it? <laughs> As though. Rebellion. That's so dope.
Hello. hello. I don't believe we've met. Oh, hello. I'm Lenora. <clears throat> Pardon me if I seem a little distracted. Lenora, what's good with you? Everyone thinks I'm utterly balmy. Samantha thinks I'm potty. But it's this painting. I never noticed it before. If I know Hogwarts, and I do, an empty frame doesn't appear for no reason. What are you trying to say? To this. Have you gained any insights about the painting since you've been studying it? I did discover that casting Lumos has an effect of some kind. But I'm not sure what to do next. <coughs> hmm. Are there any other empty paintings like this around the school? Yes, a few. This entire place is somewhat of a riddle, to be honest. If I can work out the riddle of this one, I'll know what to do with all of them. As good a place as any to begin. If I have the time, I may look. Could be intriguing. I've been racking my brains long enough. I hope you'll have better luck than I have. Do come and find me if you stumble on something illuminating that solves the mystery. Lumos. That spot must be a clue. I should look around in case it's nearby. Hmm. This looks like the location from the painting. What could be so special about it? Revelio. Accio. Revelio. Lumos. Let's get you back to your frame, little moth. I thought you said the black would get rid of all the muggles on the students. Too much to hope for, I suppose. Ha! <laughs> I knew there was a connection. I should tell the Nora that I solved the puzzle of that empty frame. Mm, I put that there, okay. Okay. I'm doing my thing, okay. Lenora, I solved the mystery of that painting. That's too easy, bro. I know what I'm doing. How? I found the location depicted in the painting, and then I cast Lumos to guide a moth back to the frame. All very logical, I suppose. Pity I was so close to solving it. You have a knack for solving riddles. Natty's good at that, too. So is Amit. Although he does tend to overexplain. Well, I'm glad someone figured it out. The moth! I should have seen it! Rebellion! I am tracking something. Quest. I'm trying to track these quests. I don't mind her going to myself. I'll take it. Going on here. Level one lock. <laughs> Rebellion. Can't get in there yet. Mm 
Oh. All these different spells. Handy resource indeed, your field guide. I'm most pleased to be included. Revelio. So much to well, explore in this game. You here. Hello, Sebastian. Ah, my new charge. I'm told you're in dire need of supplies, and I'm to accompany you into Hogsmeade for them. Is this your first foray into the village? It is. I haven't left the castle since I arrived. Well, I shall endeavor to be the very best I can subscribe. Hogsmeade's a charming little place. Self-contained, too. We should be able to find you everything that you need. Shall we? Glad Professor Weasley asked me to join you today. As am I. Thank you, by the way. Of course. You're the only one who's ever bested me in a duel. The way I see it, I'd be wise to keep an eye on you. Speaking of Weasley, she seems to have taken quite a shine to you. Has she? That's nice to hear. I'm still surprised that a professor would entrust me with anything, given my detention record. Spend a lot of time on detention, do you? Just enough to keep me well-rounded. Speaking of detention, this trip to Hogsmeade might have saved me from one. Glad I could be of service. Madam Scribner, the librarian, was on the hunt for me, as is often the case. Professor Weasley came to retrieve me, and I was able to convince old Scribner that I had somewhere to be. So how did you manage to get to the librarian's bad side? Well, I suspect it's a matter of differing opinions. She thinks I shouldn't be allowed in the restricted section, and I, on the other hand, am inclined to disagree. Oh, just one moment. This is an excellent spot to gather lacewing flies. They're pretty to look at. If you stew them long enough, they make a powerful potion ingredient. Like a setup. Man, it's big from the Forbidden Forest. Look, look. What's going on? See for yourself. Quite a sight, isn't it? You certainly don't see that every day. Do you think Poppy's already seen the hippogriffs? Absolutely. Likely already named them too. Proud soup and sugarfoot. To the left is the Forbidden Forest. Out of bounds to all students. Oh, hence the name. Precisely. They think it's too dangerous. I think they need to have more confidence in our defensive abilities. Ah, you can see Hogsmeade just past those ruins up ahead.
That castle looks dope. Have you had much of a chance to explore the castle? A little? It's positively enormous. It is that. I've been there five years and barely scratched the surface. Loads to see, faces to discover. Oh? Any you'd like to share with the class? Perhaps one day. I can't go around telling you all my secrets now, can I? You still haven't told me how you became so good at dueling. I've always thought Thestral's pulling a carriage a bit grim. Though I suppose most people don't actually see them at all. But you can see them. Unfortunately. But you've seen quite a bit yourself firsthand too. Most notably that dragon attack. Hopefully the rest of your year isn't as eventful. Mr. Moon. Mr. Moon! He's the Hogwarts, He's the Hogwarts caretaker. caretaker. Looks a bit, Looks a bit worse, worse for wear. For wear. Hello, Mr. Hello, Mr. Moon. Moon. Have you met our new fifth year? Pleasure! Uh, you might want to turn back, Mr. Sallow. Uh, turn and run. Is everything all right, sir? Oh, it looked right at me! Eyes big as saucers! What did Mr. Moon do? Demi guys! Ugly and airy and. Terrifying. I shall be at the castle where it's safe. Good luck to both of you. A demi, guys. I don't know what he's putting in his pumpkin juice, but he's obviously had too much of it. I've never seen Mr. Moon in such a state. Akio, Mr. Moon is quite the character. My sister Anne thinks he's lovely, but I'd say he's a Oh, is your sister in Slytherin too? She is, or rather, she was. She's not well at the moment, but she'll be better soon and back at Hogwarts. Honestly, if one could bottle the magic of this place, I don't know if it's the shops or the people, but there's just something about Hogsmeade. We all flock to it like moths to a flame. So how would you like to do this? Weasley told me you had a list of things to get, a wand and some other bits. Yes, Ditany seeds, some spellcrafts and some potion recipes. Perfect. Perfect. Can't wait to Can't see wait. what you do with the new one. And a short list gives you plenty of time to poke around the village. I just have to pop into a shop to find something for my sister. Let's meet up in the town circle when you're finished. Remember, have fun. It's Hogsmeade.
I'll be right with... Ah, it's you. Um, just a moment, please. Ah, hello, sir. I'm looking for... For a new wand, yes. It's about time. Yes, uh, about time? Well, you're our new fifth-year student, are you not? Oh, what am I saying? Of course you are. Gerbold Ollivander's the name. But of course, you'll have heard of the Ollivanders, I'm sure. Finest wand makers in the world. It's a pleasure to meet you, truly. Now, come with me. Let's find you the perfect wand, shall we? Mm, uh, no, 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 not you. Um, ah, yes. Yes. Hmm. Powerful core. Ten and a half inches. Hmm. You might do. Here, give this one a try. Well, go ahead, swish. Hmm. How odd. Let's do Once it. More. Come on, really swish it. Oh. Oh dear. That was going crazy. Well, this isn't a good match at all, is it? <laughs> um, we'll find you something, not to worry. No, not you. Uh, uh, perhaps. Yes. A rare wood, 13 and 3 quarter inches, dragon heart string. Let's give this one a try. Goodness. Looks like it's back to the shelf for you. Uh, this is proving to be trickier than I had anticipated. How perplexing. Um, where are you? Perhaps you? Uh, ah, there you are. Yes. I think you might be the one. Here. Take it. Intriguing. Curious indeed. How intriguing. Curious indeed. How intriguing. Curious indeed. Intriguing. Curious indeed. How intriguing.
curious indeed. How intriguing. Curious indeed. How intriguing. Curious indeed. How intriguing. Curious indeed. How intriguing. A dragon heartstring wand is most powerful and learns quickly. Hmm, a unicorn hair wand is most reliable and faithful to its owner. Curious indeed. Intriguing. Curious indeed. How intriguing. Curious indeed. How intriguing. Curious indeed. Intriguing. Curious indeed. How intriguing. Curious indeed. What do you think? Extraordinary. 
legendary. <laughs> another wand, another beginning of a bright and magical future. <laughs> now, how did that feel? Good. Different. I sensed a sort of surge of some kind. A match. Your connection seemed particularly powerful. The right wand will learn from you, just as you learn from it. I'm eager to try it out. Of course. And a Phoenix Feather Core is terribly selective. This will be an excellent match indeed. And the bond between you and your wand should only grow stronger. Do not be surprised at your new wand's ability to perceive your intentions, particularly in a moment of need. That sounds wonderful, Mr. Ollivander. I'll let you get to it. Do come and see me again, if ever I can be of further assistance. Hello. Oh, come in! Come in! Welcome to Madame Snelling's Tress Emporium. <laughs> I'm sure I've no need to introduce myself. They used to call me Snelly. Oh, Snelly! Why aren't you studying to be an aura? But I showed them. They're stuck in the dust at the Ministry and I'm here thriving. <laughs> Absolutely thriving. But look at you. Look at you. I can certainly see why you paid me a visit. Looking for a change, are we? Why not, I say? What sort of change? Some are going for that muggle with consumption sort of death becomes me allure. But you won't find poisons here. No need for chloride of lime or ammonia when you have magic. Why don't you spend a moment choosing how you'd like to look? You can change your hair too if you'd like. What services do you offer? What is it you might be interested in?
Revelio. Revelio. How do you do? Revelio. Rebellion. Welcome to J. Pippin's Potions. Pardon me, sir. Oh, thank goodness. When I heard the bell, I thought you were Miss Lawang. Not that she deigns to come here. Though, I don't believe I've seen your... It's my first time in Hogsmeade, actually. Is it real? Uh, you'll have read it on the site. How may I help you today? Professor Weasley sent me to collect some recipes. I'm new at Hogwarts. You're the student she sent the owl about. I set your things aside immediately. I suspected if you're anything like I was at your age, you'd want your potion supplies. Is it not the most fascinating art potion making? Rivals anything you can do with a wand, I've always said. A potion's really that versatile. They may not be as showy as spell work, but make no mistake, they are just as powerful. They can heal, destroy, protect. You'll discover all of this soon enough. As it's your first time in, I should mention that it's not just potion recipes I sell. I also offer ready-made drafts for all manner of uses, and I unveil new ones from time to time. Pop in when you can so you don't uh, miss out on anything. Hmm? But for now, let's get you those recipes, shall we? What can I do for you today? Feel free to take a look at the rest of my inventory, or come back another time if you're in a rush today.
Revelio. Revelio. Well, hello there. Pardon me, sir. I'm here for the seeds Professor Weasley arranged for me to collect. Oh, the Dittany for the new fifth year. <laughs> I take it that's you, then. Merlin's beard. Starting Hogwarts is a fifth year. You must be positively reeling from it all. Not at all. I'm choosing to see it all as one big adventure. Well, bravo. Not everyone has the temperament to take things as they come. Name's Timothy Teasdale, by the way, and this is my shop, the Magic Neep. I keep the cart out here because I like a good chat. Can't very well be in the thick of things if I'm hidden away inside now, can I? I suppose not. In addition to seeds, I have plenty of plants. Grow everything myself. My speciality is potion ingredients. Even Pippin purchases from me. But... What say we get you a packet of Dittany seeds? Let me guess. You're after something fresh. Do have a look around. Plenty of ingredients to pique your interest, I'd wager. What are you what up, you to, up now? to now? Lumos. Lumos. <laughs> Rebellion. Rebellion.
I'm here for the spell course, Professor Winston. Matilda, student. I thought I might be seeing you soon. I am the proprietor here. Thomas Brown. I take it you've had a conjuring lesson then. I'm afraid I have one, sir. Ah, but you will soon enough. It is magic at its purest. Creating something out of nothing. Of course, it is not without complexity, but that is where my spellcrafts come in. Stay the course, and you could soon impress even Professor Weasley. That's certainly something to aspire to, Mr. Brown. I look forward to that day. And I, too, see in it. Spellcrafts are incredibly useful for conjuring unique items like custom pieces of furniture or decoration. But I shall let Professor Weasley do the teaching. For now, now, let's get let's the spell cross you need. A potting a table and, and a potion, potion station. station. Yes? yes? I believe so, sir. Good. Nothing that like being able to grow your own ingredients, ingredients and brew what, what you want, want when you want. want. Let's have let's a look. Let's look at what we have, shall we? If you're interested, feel free to take a look around at the rest of my inventory. Well, that's everything. Better go and find Sebastian. I officially have all of my supplies. Excellent. Did you get what you needed for your sister? I did. So I suppose the world is our oyster now. Let's see what else we can get up to. Oh, hell no. What's going on? Oh, no. Yo.
Mr. Hill was just singing your praises. Hello, Hello, sir. I don't believe we've met. Allow me to introduce myself. myself. Oh, Augustus Still, Clothier, Clothier. Clothier. Extraordinary. extraordinary. I should like to thank you for your remarkable Remarkable bravery in fighting those trolls, and not to mention your help restoring Hogsby to its rightful state. I was happy to help. Frankly, you deserve an order of learning. But I could give you something much more useful. I am glad that was aware of among my inventory are some unique items that afford certain protections, as it were, life-saving protections. And as I suspect this would be your last dangerous encounter, I'd like to give you one such set of rooms. In fact, for what you did today. Thank you, Mr. Hill. That's very generous of us. It's the least, least I can, I can do. do. Uh, now, now, now let's, let's try, try this, this on the side, side, shall we? Shall we? 
plenty of meal for us today. Take your time. I'd say we've earned a bus of arrow soon, wouldn't you? Might help me forget that I was almost pulverized by a troll. I'd say that I agree with you. Perfect. Three broomsticks is just this way. I said I was a little bit more than the other valley of the earth. Essentially, you find. You're most welcome to complete my shop. shop. Repair it. Assuming it isn't is utter, utter bedlam bed there, we might even meet, meet Serona, the owner. The owner. She's, a She's a good one to know. To know. could get to the chart when they came to Hogsmeade. That all you needed was a distraction. I gave you a distraction. I just watched a student take down a distraction. Who's this child? What are you not telling me? All you need to know is that if you cannot get to the chart, then you have no value to me. 
Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Did they see us? I don't think so. What was that what was goblin that doing with Victor, Victor Rookwood? Rookwood. Ranrock is working with Rookwood. The goblin from the Daily Prophet. I knew I'd see him somewhere. Quickly, Quickly, let's get inside, let's get inside the three broomsticks. And they're looking for us. We, shit, what's up, man? It's a treat, a treat for you, for you Lord God. I shall let I shall you know if I hear anything. Thank, Thank you, sir. You, sir. you be well. Well. No, 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 can I? No. no. There's a face I haven't seen before. It's my first time there. Welcome. But a beer's on me. Heard about the attack. I shall be looking in on the shopkeepers of Rosen and Short. Glad to see you can escape to injury. Thanks to this one. Single handed and put down a troll. Is that right? Well done. Thanks for this. My pleasure. I will say, trolls in Hogsmeade. It's never, it's never happened before. before. Something's not right. This, this woman sounds like a man. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh. That's how I Was that a lot of I saw leaving just now? Your client tells not what it used to be, sir. Not to worry, Victor. Once the two of you leave, the caliber of our clients are will greatly improve. I wouldn't do that if I were you, Theophilus. Come now. No need for theatrics. I'm only here for this one anyway. My friend is enjoying your well butter butterbeer. Only want a quick word. Perhaps you didn't hear me. I said, my friend is busy. One would think you all had enough bloodshed for one day. Come to the The three broomsticks isn't what it used to be. Let's take our galleons elsewhere. Can't drink butter beer forever. Like and subscribe. This makes me want to play Final Fantasy. BRB. Like and subscribe. That is a man. That is a man. <laughs> it's a dude. <laughs> it's a dude. But it's perhaps best to do that later. I swear, bro. Let's try you guys. Transformers on here. I think we should head back to the castle. Definitely a dude. <laughs> Uh, give me the low, man. You know us, bro. Go eat some bread. Certainly glad Sirona was there. Told you she was one of the good ones. I can see that. She didn't seem at all intimidated by Rookwood and Arlo. I think you'll need to tell me why Victor Rookwood has you in his sights. But we can talk later. For the moment, we should return to the castle. Professor Weasley's certain to hear about the troll attack soon if she hasn't already. Don't want to risk another detention for getting back after hours.
fast travel. Sometimes you gotta fast travel it on out, you know. This Kawhi, this Kawhi Leonard nephew right here with the braids. Ha ha! Level five, ass. Okay, level four. I'm level five. Ha ha! She's been mad. Level five on ya. I'll post. Oh, I got mail. Yeah. I got some mail. Big ass castle, man. Rebellion. It's feel like a setup. Professor, I'm glad to see you. And I, you. Thank Merlin you're in one piece. I heard about the attack. Sir, the trolls were wearing armor. It had that dark glow like the dragon collar. Goblin silver! Renrock used it to control the dragon. But how? And why send trolls to? They were there because of me. I overheard Ranrock talking with Victor Rookwood. Ranrock was in Hogsmeade with Rookwood. The trolls were Ranrock's distraction so that Rookwood could get to me. And he would have had Sir Roman and patrons of the Three Brumsticks not intervened. This is great news indeed. If Ranrock's goblins and dark wizards are after you, they want what we found in that vault. There 
after the locket. You said you discovered something in it. Yes, yes. I discovered an inscription. When I read it aloud, this map appeared. Clever enchantment. It's a map of Hogwarts, to be sure. But I do not know where it leads. It leads to the library. A restricted section, to be precise. And a bit beyond. I see traces of magic there on the map. I suspected you would see something. Shall we go? I appreciate your enthusiasm, and I'm eager to discover what we may find there as well. But if our experience at Gringotts, let alone what happened to Miriam, taught me anything, it's that the path we're on is terribly dangerous. I'd like you to work with Professor Heckett a bit before we continue. But sir, how dangerous could the library be? Perhaps we're only after a book. Perhaps we are only after a book, but we should be prepared for anything. Once you've honed your defensive magic further, come and see me. I'll let Professor Heckett know to expect you. Imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented blue powder. Protego! Lumos. Might some kind soul help me? Are you alright? Don't you know who I am? Zenobia Nook. The girl who everyone at school hates for no reason. Everyone hates you? Why? Because Hogwarts is full of bullies and spoil sports. Leander Pruitt's one of the worst, that no talent mean mind. I wanted to make some new friends, and so I brought my collection down to the common room. My gobstone collection, that is. I was hoping someone would want to play. Are you familiar with gobstones? Little balls, like marbles. Grand game. And if you lose, they spray you with a foul-smelling liquid. Gobstones? Sounds like a fun challenge. That's what I tried to tell everyone. <sighs> People can be so cruel. Just because they're sprayed all over with smelly gobstone spit, it's their own fault for losing. Imelda is one of the worst losers. Everett and Astoria are terrible as well. And now those poor losers have taken my gobstones and hidden them in very high places all over the school.
Sounds as if you caused the smelly situation and they responded accordingly. I didn't make the rules. Anyway, I can't work out how to get them back on my own. I don't think I know the necessary spells yet. I need someone, perhaps a selfless and talented fifth year to help me. Do you have any suggestions on how to get your gobstones down from their hiding spots? If I knew that, I'd get them myself. Whoever hid my gobstones that high got up there somehow. Haven't you any friends at school? Not really. I'll see what I can do. I'd appreciate the help. If you do find all of my gobstones, do come and see me again. I'll be back to playing Snake Pit and Jackstone by myself. I'm here about the new spell you wanted to teach me, Professor. Good. Uh, Professor Fig indicated a certain urgency to you completing your defensive magic assignments. As such, you are to learn Incendio, the fire-making spell, handy for lighting torches, burning away spider webs, and, when necessary, defending against those who would wish to... Sounds uh, versatile. Quite. But before we get started, I'd like you to complete a few tasks. You may be surprised by some of them. Astonishing how much students don't think their professors know. Where... You know where to find me once you've finished. Seems crossed wands isn't as secret as it's believed to be. be handsome indeed, or I'd fire up the cannon, and so she agreed. To draw up a contract with her, not with him, that if I behaved, I'd have one weekly swim! Whee! I'll get you for this. Ugh. Glad you could make it. Lucan's just over there. Revelio. Repairer. Can I help? 
help you? Can I help you? Sebastian told me to see you about a club. If Sebastian vouches for you, that's all I need to know. I seem to have a knack for dueling. Then you've come to the right place. How does Cross Wands work exactly? You show up, I match you with other duelists, and whoever is still standing in the end wins. It's our way of determining the school's greatest duelist once and for all. And to liven things up, the winner is awarded a prize. Interested? Of course. Dueling's an entertaining pastime. I agree. Besides, in Cross... Your first time I'll pair you with Sebastian. Next time, you'll need to bring a... So, care to step into the ring? Get me in the ring. Spectacular! Let the fight... We'll make you regret signing up. wasn't wrong about you. There's strong competition ahead, but keep this up and you could be the next school champion. Brilliant. Count me in. I shall. In fact, the second duel is ready when you are. And as a fully initiated member, you now have access to the official Crossed Ones training dummy. Very good way to master spell combinations. Come and see me and I'll set it up. Again, congratulations on your first Crossed Ones victory. Well fought. Hope to see you back here again. Glad you're back. Hello, Lucan. Is the next round of Crossed Ones all set? Ready for another round? I'm ready. Let's do it. Brilliant. Are you dealing with I fire? want some coffee hot beverage. Yes, Sebastian. Then let's get to it. Ready to get thrashed? A pull out of seventy four degrees. It's Let me 
I gave it my all. You did indeed. The other duelists have already taken notice of you. But after that last round, they'll really have it in for you. You'd better keep practicing if you want a chance at winning. <laughs> or at least surviving the next round. I'll let you know when we're ready. Hope to see you then. The next round is for all the gobstones, so to speak. Hello, Lucan. May I use the training dummy? Of course. I'll fetch it and give you a list of combinations to practice. Ready to have a try now? That would be wonderful. Be sure to cast all of your spells before the dummy lands. If you need to stop practicing before you finish all of them, let me know. Luma. You looked good out there. Thank you, Lucan. I say better to discover one's weaknesses during practice than during a duel. You'll be a fearsome challenger now. Assignment's all finished. Revelio. What are you up to now? Seems I'm out of the tournament thanks to you. I trust Mr. Bradley was able to accommodate you and that you found success in your endeavors. I finished all of the tasks you gave me, Professor Hackett. Glad to hear it. Then you should be ready to learn Incendio. Should be, Professor. Yes. I'm sorry to say I visited enough careless colleagues at St. Mungo's to assure you that Fire is a fickle servant. Your spellcasting has impressed me thus far, but please maintain focus. I would rather we not end today's lesson with your robes aflame. Let 74 be... smiling face with sunglasses, Focus smiling face warning. with sunglasses, smiling face with sunglasses. Concentrate and keep your wand steady.
good work. Incendio. Incendio! Getting it. Keep at it. And do try not to incinerate yourself. Akio! Incendio! Let me go! Ah, there you are. Hello, sir. You'll be pleased to know that I worked on my defensive magic with Professor Hackett. So I hear. She tells me you've taken rather well to your new wand. You must continue to work with her and your other professors to improve your skills. That said, I don't wish to postpone our visit to the library any longer. So... Shall we proceed? Fig! I have work for you. Come. Headmaster, I'm with a student and my schedule Your is... schedule will wait indefinitely, as will your student. I would think that after all the trouble you caused me with Osric, you'd be eager to make amends. 
My office. Five minutes. That man is exasperating. Unfortunately, our trip to the restricted section will have to wait a bit longer. But, Professor... We have no choice. It would be unwise to provoke our illustrious headmaster further. I shall find you when I've completed whatever toils I must endure. Sebastian mentioned sneaking into the restricted section. Perhaps he'll have an idea. Let me go <laughs> Sebastian, there you are. There you are. You promised me an explanation for what happened in the Three Broomstick. Not many students have Victor Rookwood's attention. Seems he's working with Ranrock, and Ranrock is after something I found at Gringotts. Ranrock? And when were you at Gringotts? Professor Fig and I ended up there after the dragon attack. <laughs> it's quite the tale. Fig had this port key. A port key? To Gringotts? I'm not sure I follow. You can't be serious. Deadly serious. Professor Fig has insisted that I not tell a soul. Understood. Your secret's safe with... Thank you, Sebastian. You mentioned being clever enough not to get caught in the restri... And I am. Meet me outside... How concerned should I be? Madam Scribner doesn't take... She and I are... What will happen if we're... Detention, no doubt. But aside from wanton destruct... Thank you, Sebastian. See there? That's the door we need to reach. And those annoying prefects would love nothing more than to rat on us to Scribner, so don't let them see us. Understood? I can be sneaky. Let's go. Hold on now. There's a spell you should know. The disillusionment charm. Good for getting places you're not supposed to be. Cast it and you'll appear as little more than a trick of the light, just as long as you keep your distance and stay quiet. You mean I'll actually be able to turn invisible? Something like that. It's not as foolproof as a cloak, but those are expensive. And spells? Spells are free. Give it a try.
Jane's still here. Quick, behind the bookcase. You told me the librarian would be gone by now. I said usually, but it'll still be all right. Do you see her desk behind me? The key is in the drawer of that desk. Now, here's what we're going to do. I'll create a distraction to draw her away. You focus on getting the key. I'll meet you outside of the restricted section. Wait, why do we need a key? Isn't there a spell for this? Alohomora. That's how I always used to get in. But the librarian twigged that I knew the spell and cast an anti-Alohomora charm on the lock. So now it's just this key. But don't worry. I said I'd get you in, and I always keep my word. Trust me. There's someone there? Is that you, Peeves? That wasn't so difficult after all. How to find that book. Oh, that one's charm to look more useful than it is. It's fooled me twice. Never judge a tome by its cover, I say. Revelio. Ghost, don't let her see you.
should be in the clear now. No need for us to be skulking about. So what is it you've been looking for? I'm looking for a cure to help my twin sister, Anne, so that she can return to Hogwarts. Because Merlin knows everyone else has given up. Why do you think we'll find a cure in the restricted section? Does the Hogwarts matron have nothing that can help Anne? No. We've tried everyone from Nurse Blaney to St. Mongo's. But I can research on my own. No need to concern yourself with that right now. Let's focus on what you're after. Which is what, precisely? I'll know it when I see it. You're being awfully cryptic. shouldn't be. Naughty, naughty, you'll get caught. Peeves, don't you... I'm going to tell, I'm going to tell, I'm going to tell. <laughs> oh, blasted Peeves. I've got to stop him or at least get to the librarian with a good excuse for all of this. How do I know you won't go to the librarian and blame this all on me? Why would I do that? I like having friends who are in my debt. Now go. Good luck in your search. Now, where has that damned poltergeist got to? I know just the spell to repair this armor. Rebellion. Repair. Her. Rebellion. Of course, traces of ancient magic. There must be more to this room.
Lumos. Repairer. Ah, I need to wake up that rune over there. Akio. Levioso. Incendio. Not surprising. Guards at the ready.
This must be the way forward, but to where? I might have to cop this for my Xbox. Nah, get it for PlayStation, bro. Nearly there. Best keep my wits about me. Is a book after all. Can you be a bad guy?
Yeah, I'm trying to be an evil wizard, Chris. For sure. You wanted to see me, Headmistress Fitzgerald, Professor Rackham. Miss Isadora Morganach, welcome. Professor Rookwood, Professor Bacar. We understand that you are adjusting well to life at Hogwarts. I am. I am glad. Especially in light of your unusual situation, starting as a fifth year. As it happens, I was also admitted to Hogwarts as a fifth year. I have never heard of another like us. Miss Morganock, when we spoke yesterday after class, you asked about the beautiful swirls you saw years ago when we visited your hamlet. I recognized you all immediately. I cannot thank you enough for what you did. We were glad to help. And yes, I did see swirls of magic everywhere that day. My father insists it was my imagination running wild, but... It was certainly real to me. It was not your imagination. Percival, Professor Rackham can see them too. But we have never known of another who could. I don't understand. What are they? The whispers or traces that appear when a particular form of ancient magic is wielded. Ancient magic? Few are capable of wielding it. Hogwarts itself is a stronghold of ancient... Jaw coming off the bench when so he comes I back. see traces of ancient magic. Does that mean I can wield it too? With the proper training. But let us not get ahead of ourselves, Miss Morganach. Before I can train you to wield such magic, you must first master all that Hogwarts has to offer. A magic this powerful can do great harm in the wrong hands. It must be wielded by a select few. As such, we ask that you not speak to anyone about what we have discussed here today. They need to spin for the rest of the year, man. Spin his ass. He won't be a thug. Let his ass sit on the bench. in the restricted section again! I had thought we were through with this mischief. Clearly, detentions are insufficient. I'm afraid I must take this to the headmaster. But that being said, Peeves informs me that you didn't come alone tonight. If someone has coerced you, I would have you tell me. You're a bright boy. Don't waste this. There was nobody else. I came alone. Oh, Sebastian. What will your uncle say? I agree. Suspend his little black ass face with tears of joy. <laughs> hey, bro, you sound like Uncle Ruckus.
Revelio. Revelio. This game is a big hit on Twitch. Yeah, this is all this is all the rave, man. You should definitely buy this game. Lumos. Handy resource indeed, your field guide. I'm most pleased to be included. You cannot be serious. Goblins working with Rookwood makes no sense. It is rather unorthodox, to say the least. Unorthodox? It's inconceivable. It's... Ah, Fig. You have a visitor. I'll see what I can find out. Hmm. Sir, I was able to search the restricted section while you were with Professor Black. It was a book we were after.
All right, I'll be back in uh, in a few, guys. A couple hours. Got to take a little break. Kids get out of school, you know, got to go do my thing. <laughs> so, yeah, I'll get y'all later, man. Thanks for watching. Hit that like button. Hit the noty button, man. I'll be back later. Go fly out.